Well, hello there, people. Hey, hey. What is going on? What's happening? We are back in the building. We're back in the building, y'all. We're a little late. We apologize. But better late than not at all. Listen, it's better than running hungry, ain't it? <laughs> but we are here. We are finally here. Listen, y'all, we are Shiv Real Talk Tuesdays. And Sundays, and Mondays, and Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and Fridays, and Saturdays, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We are shift all week. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. We got a dope topic today. I'm your boy, Pastor Jay. And I'm your girl, Lady Free. We are here. Back with in the a, building. Back in the building. Listen, y'all. Subscribe. Become a part of the Shift Real Talk Nation, y'all. That's Subscribe right. to us on our YouTube channel. Listen, we are coming to y'all live Sunday nights, WKNYRadio.com. We are on live. We are on pot. We are on. We are in your radios. We are in your cars. All we are in your platforms. TVs. We are on all major platforms, man. So check us out. Check us out. Check us out. All right, baby. You got this? You want to yeah. keep it moving? We already late. Yeah, we already late. Man, we got to delve into it because we late. What's up, mind provoking? We are so hey, sorry. Babe. I had an emergency situation. I had, I had to. Yes, man. I, right. I had to. I had emergency. I had to counsel some people. Hey, hey, Amara Dell. That's Emma Redell. Emma, hey, what's babe. going on, girl? We, oh, girl, that she got a testimony. That we I love know, you, sis. Right. Man, God you is so. On show, we, yeah, we gotta we gotta get you on the show, man, so you can tell your testimony, man. How God is truly a healer. a healer. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. So, listen, y'all. Today's topic is what? What's the t- today's topic, man? Today's topic is boundaries. How far do we push it? You, you know, and this this is you know this is in. Every, everyday living i i have been i have been fortunate enough to run against not to run i'm not going to say run but to come against situations that i see and how we allow certain behaviors to continue but one thing i had to understand is that as people we are going to deal with people's development what do you mean? What people deal with is how they develop. Now there's, there's different ways that people develop people development. They develop physically, they develop cognitively, they develop socially, emotionally, and then they develop spiritually. Right. So we sometimes dealing, we deal with people's development. So where they are in their life, they're in the level of development because nobody stays the same. Period. They don't. I don't care. Ever changing. I right. don't care because we are forever changing. We're constant. forever growing. Right. Our bodies grow. Our, our mindset grows. Our spirituality grows. Uh-huh. What you look? You really? I got mama here. She going to take the gum out Y'all my mama. Y'all know back in the day. Yeah. We, you know do how to do today. it in the church. You can do anything in church today, God forbid. <laughs> oh, oh, they they would give that, well, pre- send day, that paper in the church and be like, put that piece was. of gum here. And they would come with the church. Just like That's that. That's right. Oh, they would do it. You oh, they sure would. With with gum in your they mouth. Sure. Can't I talk do with not gum want to do CPR on the show. Hey, my sister's on here. Latisse All right, can, Moore. can I do something? Hey, Tease. Yes. Let me do something real quick. Okay, so we're talking about boundaries. And you just said people change. That, that is the constant. That's the only thing we can rely on is change, right? So since we're talking about boundaries, I'm going to read the definition for boundaries real quick. Is that okay, all right? sure. All right. So it's, well, not the definition, but. Um, what I found that I thought was interesting. It says boundaries help determine what is and is not okay in the relationship, whether to be with friends, partners, coworkers, bosses, or family members. Ideally, we put them in place to protect our well-being. They help us to build trust, safety, and respect in relationships. These are boundaries. Absolutely. These are boundaries. Yes, they are. They are boundaries. So as so as you're changing, your boundaries should be in place to the point where you know how far to the right or to the left that you're willing to go and allow people to go to take you. That's a boundary. It's not to keep people out. It's to keep the right people in. Am I right? Am I right about it? Yeah, right. and we will definitely understand that, like I said, through understanding that 
people, when it comes to people, we are dealing with the evolution of people. What do you mean? Meaning, like, they're, they're changing. You know what I'm saying? It's forever changing. Okay. So that's why I was saying, you know, okay, like, so giving examples of how people change. People change physically. Okay. You know, so physically, it, when you change physically, that means your, your body changes. You either get bigger or you develop more. You know what I'm saying? From a right. young age, of right. course, your body changes. It, get, right. it develops. So that's one, th- it, it developing physically. When you develop cognitively, that's your mental. Mm-hmm. So it examines how you grow in your memory and your perception yeah. and, and what you, how you think about things, what you believe, your maturity how level. you feel, your maturity right. level. Yes, your language. Your language grows. You learn more Productive words, right? Supposedly, supposedly. Well, okay, your vocabulary gets <laughs> yeah. a bit better. Your hey, vocabulary Tasha. Thing. Yes, I agree. Without them, we are we subject ourselves toward conflict and confusion. That's re- exactly right. right. Instead of trust and exactly. respect. Exactly. So then we develop socially. Socially is how we relate to others and ourselves. Right. You know what I'm saying? How we relate to ourselves and the others. And spiritually, now out of all of those other ways it develops. Spirit developing spiritually is the most healthiest. Okay. Let me explain why, what I mean when I say it's the most healthy, it is the most healthiest because you are, it's the difference between you growing in what you believe and you growing in God. Now, when you grow into what you believe, what happens is all of those the, the, the methods of developing uh-huh. it, it intertwines with one another and can cause some emotional breakdown. So okay. here's the thing when you do. De- okay. So if somebody is developing physically, now you can go through a, 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 a peer pressure to now want to have a desire to now des- to desire for somebody who is developing physically and what you do. And that level of development. Now you are going into a method of, developing emotional feelings that could either lead you to doing something wrong. That's not spiritual. Okay. Doing something that's, uh, uh, against what we supposed to believe that's going to help us now set the boundaries that we supposed to set. And, and <laughs> you yeah. lost me, babe. I'm sorry. I'm trying to follow you. Can no, you so, break no, it down for the people? In I the got GT? you. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm saying this is, this is what we have to learn that we deal with when it comes to dealing with people okay. and setting boundaries. We got to understand that they're in the level of growth They're in a level of growth. So in that level of growth, there's certain things that we uh, have to understand and, and, and allow to develop, but we must believe in our, especially in, in, in levels of development that we have to grow in the level of development and understand that my wife is really making me lose my thought right Babe, now. How? I ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even said God, nothing. That, that look making me lose my thought. Baby, I'm, I'm with you all the way. Let me read what mind provoking said while you get your thoughts. She says most healthiest because it aligns one to follow the path bestowed upon them versus being in the world of followers who are blind and can't see or comprehend their purpose. Absolutely. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Hey, so, Vanessa so, and so, Vivian, welcome so, to so, the show. Okay. Got you. So another, what I'm saying is when you are dealing with people who are growing in those levels of growing, then what happens, what, 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 what we have to realize is, is the thing that it are, is influencing them because when you deal with, and I use that example, now thank you. My thought is coming back, okay. but I use that example of, of somebody who's growing physically and then you see this physical growth and you just start to, to desire this physical growth. Mm-hmm. What now the level of influence is the actual physical, the physical growth. So what you do is you go against all boundaries to now chase what you what either social media, what you, what you socially deal with, what you emotionally deal with, what you physically deal with, okay. which you cognitively deal with, you let all of that stuff go or intertwine with one another to another to now chase what's the thing that is influencing you to go against, you know what I'm saying? Your own boundaries? Your, your very own. So so are you so are we in the place right now with what you're talking about that when it when we go outside of our own boundary? When we we we're not even the boundary that sometimes we are set boundaries and not realize that other people are going through certain levels of growth. So because of that, what we would do is we would go against the, th- the very thing that we set because the, the topic today is 
How much would you how allow? How far will you how, push yeah, it? How far the would boundary. you push it? And we will push that boundary past the boundary because of these things that we are growing past and the level and those things that can influence us to now start looking at it instead of staying focused spiritually, because that's the most, the, the healthiest level of growth. Okay. Because if we stay on that spiritual mindset, then, then that, that, the, we have a, a, a level of guidance from God as opposed to our own level of thinking or our own level of growth and maturity. So, All right, you talk, you you walking heavy, Doc. You walking heavy. <laughs> you are, babe. That's a compliment. Yeah. So listen, Eliza. Hey, how you doing, Darren? Hey, Darren. Welcome to the show. Um, we talking about boundaries, and so far, what we what we doing is we breaking down change. How the way we change over time causes us sometimes to push the boundary. Yes. All right. Eliza said, "True." Th this is what I'm saying. She said, "We compromise ourselves for others to grow." Exactly. Wow. We, we do that. That. Thank you, Aunt Eliza. Okay. Thank you. So that that is so happy because we'll put down. You know what I'm saying? We'll put down ourselves and what we believe and what we've grown up to understand. Even spiritually, sometimes we'll lay that to the side to make sure that somebody's where they need to be or what they need to, you know, and so we'll push past uh -huh. certain things to make sure that they get to where they need to get to. Right. But that's still breaking barriers of boundaries that we should set right. no matter what. Prime example. Here's a prime example. Now, I, this, this is why we're coming on late today because I had to, Deal. With, I had the council dealing with a, a, a couple, situation, couple right. that we were counseling, and, and um, it was an emergency situation. But Al West, what's going on, people, man? Um, hey, Al. So, so if you were, say, for instance, you were a school teacher, right? And and um, and as being a school teacher, we know today how the, these kids are. These mm -hmm. kids are very, 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 very disrespectful to the teachers. Okay. Now, now as as a parent, you should have a boundary set in your home that does not warrant a kid to go to the teacher and disrespect the teacher. I see these kids punching these teachers or slapping them and fighting the teachers right. and knocking the teachers out. Right. But there should be a boundary set for these kids knowing, not even just a boundary, but look, they should know better. You know what I'm saying? And that should be in the home. Right. But because we going through a level of growth at ourselves, a, a growth at ourselves, we look and we and we um we make an excuse for the behavior of that kid being disrespectful to a whole other adult that has nothing to do and and the disrespect may not warrant um of the disrespect to you because well, we don't even know. I won't say that because a lot of these the kids if they disrespectful outside of the home, they disrespectful in the home. So trust a lot me. of times, yeah, a lot of times, and that 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 goes on. Because it used to be where I mean, because you keep saying, yeah. uh, and I get it, but if a boundary is set, is that the problem you think today? Because we're not actually setting the boundary. I don't see the thing. That's why I said it's not the boundary. It's understanding people's level of growth. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Even though bound, we set boundaries in place because those boundaries actually are for for our level. I believe I believe boundaries are for our level of protection right. from from what we feel and what we need to 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 grow. This is what we need to right. grow. So, but because we don't really see where people are in their level of where they need to be or where they're coming from and where they need to evolve to, then what we do is we set boundaries for us and not really. Are, are graceful enough to understand where people are. Well, yeah, I mean, that's okay. what I just believe. I All mean. right, and I get it. But being that a boundary is is, is like the border, it, they're like the lines that you have on each side of, you know, your. These are the standards, not the standards. I'm not gonna say standards, but that's the line you just won't cross, right? So if I set my boundaries and I say there are certain things I'm just not gonna deal with in my life, it's like a level of protection and a level of safety. So that means that if you do something, let's say you're um someone I'm dating, and you are um. You, your level of respect is a little different from mine. I have a maybe I have a level of respect that look like this and yours don't. So because you don't know that you're not meaning to be disrespectful, but you're disrespectful to me. So mm -hmm. what I would say is, okay, when you do that or when you talk like that to me, 
it hurts my feelings and it makes me feel like that you kind of have an abusive way about the way you're talking to me. If you keep talking to me like that, then this is the course of action I'm going to take. So okay. that helps you to understand the balance when it comes to kids. Okay. It's the same All right, thing. Let's, so let, let me ask you a question. Do you think that you would have to set a boundary for somebody who has grown to the to their fullest capacity of growth? Nobody has grown to their fullest capacity well, of growth. The, well, uh, well, I ain't saying that I've grown, but do you think that you have to set boundaries toward me after I got had to learn certain things and But grow? see, the boundaries are for me. I said no, boundaries I know, for myself. No, I understand that, but do you believe that you would have to... Right now, and where we are. And Absolutely. Not, not where we are, but where I am. Absolutely. You, to explain. Tell me why. Okay. Case in point. Um, When we have disagreements, mm -hmm. you still get kind of passionate sometimes when you talk. That's what we call it. And what do I say to you? Babe, I can't hear you when you're talking to me like that. If you want me to receive what you're saying, you're going to have to um, talk a little different to me because I really want to hear you, but I'm not going to. I'm telling you the way I'm built, I can't hear you if you're not speaking to me from adult to adult because we're not kids. So let's talk. So basically what you and this is over time, what you have had to understand is, OK, I'm going to have to learn how if, if I want to be received. Now, if you just want to blurt some stuff out and get your point out, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But if I want to be received by my wife, then this is how I'm going to have to come to her. And you respect me enough to, to change it. And you have over time. But that's, yes, I still feel like I have this thing, these boundaries, because I hadn't set boundaries in my life. I didn't even know to set boundaries. But now, since we did that show about two years ago, we was talking about boundaries, I realized, man, I have not set boundaries for my life. So now that I have, what it does is it helps me to help people know how to treat me. Because everybody's not going to know how to treat you until you help them understand. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have to be all rolling your neck and you don't have to do that. Just talk. Okay. When you do this, if you do this, then this is the way I'm going to respond so that I can keep my peace and stay in my safe place. Those are okay. boundaries. Okay. I was going to ask you that. Do you believe that's a boundary? Those are boundaries. Absolutely. That's what okay. a boundary is. Okay. So two, two little comments real quick. Uh, mind provoking. She said, yes, boundaries are just do's and don'ts. Regardless of the level, certain requirements are needed to protect our kids and ourselves. Parents set the tone. The environment allows the lesson to have a reason with, without consequences. Yes. Darren Phillips said growth. However, slow it is. It's always, um, is always ongoing. Yes. Yeah. What's up dad? Hey dad. Tisha, hey, Tisha, how, how you doing? We're talking about Love boundaries, you. guys. How far do you push it? You was just talking about our kids. And I think that's really what sparked this whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, okay, so, um, and I, and okay, so I hear what you're saying, but, but I just, you know, and I just have this, I just have this idea in my head. And like I said, it could just be me, mm -hmm. but I, like I said, I feel like boundaries have to be set for people who really are in a level of, especially people who are in a level of learning or in there. In their, and I keep going back to that because I do know that um, there was a place in my life where I had to grow. And because I had to grow, now before I'd grown, the place that I was in, it was really just about my feelings. Right. So, so and I was very, very um, showing of how selfish I was. Right. Because sometimes that happens in your growth. Right. You Absolutely. don't understand where you are. And and because you don't understand where you are, then there's a level of protection that you that you carry unwillingly or unknowingly because you just don't know. You're just not at that level cognitively or, or mentally to understand that this is what I'm doing for me, not just for me, but I need to do this and grow so that I can be able to relate to others. And so, in your growth. so in my growth, there there had to be certain boundaries set because I came with a level of selfishness. Okay, so when you say there had to be a level of boundary set, who's setting the boundary for who? But I'm saying like people that I like, like with you, uh -huh. like when I first got, let's let's use because I can only okay. talk about can us talk here. About us. Like when I first got with you, there were certain boundaries that you set, knowing and because and then the way I kept it, I had to set boundaries that I felt like, okay, 
And I set boundaries not just for me, but I set boundaries for both that I felt that I set for you both can't of set us boundaries because for other I didn't want to cross certain lines when it came to us because I knew that I wasn't there mature. I wasn't in my level of maturity to handle the relationship that that I don't even believe that both of us was ready for. Okay, so so this is my question then. You believe you can set boundaries for other people? No, no, no. I'm just saying I'm talking about our situation. Right. And I felt that because I said, you said um, when, when we were dating, you know, we were dating, but we wasn't dating. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah we were dating, but we wasn't dating. We was in a situation. Yeah, we was in a situation. And I kept it to where, um, okay, like, like I don't want to commit to you because I know I'm not ready. So I felt that that was a boundary setting for the both of us because – I knew what I could not do and what I wasn't ready for. And I knew if I committed into a relationship to with you that I wasn't ready for, then it would show how selfish that I was knowingly that I could be what I was not trying to be at the same Baby, time. You trying to don't beat around the bush. You was self-centered. Yeah, I was self-centered. I was. <laughs> yeah, you was in your own stuff. But you was you was growing, like you said. But my thing is, for me, I don't believe I can set boundaries for anyone but me. Because if you try to set boundaries for me, like in a, I'm in a relationship with you, and you, say, and you set boundaries for the both of us, that's called control. You're trying to control well, how c- c- call boundaries, it, you, are, yeah, not, but boundaries comes, are not controlling other people. I understand that. But, that, but again, that's in my level of and my level of growth. And it may appear that way because again, there's a level of maturity that I'm growing to. So at that point now, that's what comes with selfishness, control, uh, 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 protection. Right. So let's you know call a spade a spade. Yeah. Control is not boundaries. Boundaries are boundaries. Control is control. Yeah, but control I'm, is trying to make somebody else do something to fit what you want. Boundaries are, this is the way I am. And I only can respond to how you are. So it's boundaries are basically my response to the way you are, you act or the way Mm -hmm. you treat me. It's not me making you do a certain thing to, to be in my life. That's not what that is. Got you. Darren said, I never knew how to set boundaries and enforce them. Wow. That's, that's a, that's noble. A lot of us. Mother Carolyn is on. Hey mother. mother. I love you mother. Okay. So Tisha. Tisha. No, you read it. Okay. Tisha says boundaries should also be set for those who feel they should not be set. Benefiting from not having boundaries. If that makes sense. Okay. Tisha, um, break that down a little bit more. Boundaries should also be set for those who feel they should not be set. That's what I was just saying. You can't set boundaries for other people. You can only set boundaries for but yourself. It's not, but, but I wouldn't say you're setting the boundaries for the person, but you could be setting the boundary for the situation, especially if you don't believe, because you can be all nilly milly and coming in, uh, or, or, you know, on love heels and, and really, you know, break those, those heel toes. Okay, I'm finna go into, I'm finna break what boundaries are all the way Listen, down to I'm, me. but like I I'm said, breaking it down to you can, me. you're not breaking it for the person, but for the situation. Listen, let's not cross this line because because it, it could cause damage. That's not saying I'm setting it for you or controlling you. It's saying right now this situation needs not to go past this point. Okay, and I don't that's think that's different than. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think but, that's. But if it goes past the point, then what? Then, then we, then, then, then you going at your own risk because. <laughs> but see, that's that's what the, and that's what it is. It's like, oh, this earring. Okay, so basically, what it is is, if I say. I don't want to go past this point and I convey that to you. Then I leave it up to you to make a decision whether or not you're going to try to push it past that point. If you push it past that point, you already know that if you push it past that point, then this is how I'm going to react to that or respond to you pushing it past that point because I've set my boundary for my life. And the boundary I set says, if you try to push me past that line, then I'm going to have, I'm going to respond to you in this way. And, and two, and two, I'm a firm believer oh, that a lot God, of us set, a lot of us set boundaries on, 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 uh, situations that we grew up believing. What so do you mean? like, in other words, if your mama told you, don't, don't never, never let somebody disrespect you. And you grew up with this belief, you will go in setting these boundaries in situations and situations that, 
my mama told me don't let nobody disrespect. I ain't letting you disrespect. So you bet not say, you bet not try to correct me because that's disrespect. Or you bet not, you know, saying there's certain things that will look like a level of crossing a boundary that mm-hmm. that you set when you were when you were young. And I could be wrong now. I'm not saying that you can't. I'm not saying that's the end of that's like you said earlier. That's just the way I envision what boundaries are. Yes. M- my, my baby girl. Boundaries said, are. Yeah. Equate. Yeah. Read it. Boundaries are the framework we set for ourselves on how we want to be treated by others and how we treat others. It's setting up how you want to be treated. It promotes physical and emotional well-being and it respects your needs and the other person's needs in the relationship. So basically when you set those boundaries the way it seems to me, it's the framework, it says, that we set for ourselves on how we want to be treated by others and how we are going to treat others. But how they treat me is not a part of me setting my bound. It's not a part of that framework for me. But how they treat me, then now I'm going to have to say, okay, if you keep talking to me like that, I'm going to put that bolo on you. No, I'm playing it. <laughs> I'll put that boon on you now. Mm. But if you keep talking to me in that way, then um, I'm going to have to just walk out or I'm going I'm to I'm have to hang up because you can't, I'm not going to continuously allow you to speak to me that way. That's the boundary I set for myself. I want to be respected in conversation. I mm-hmm. want, I want to, you know, and that's what I want as far as how I want people to respect me. Now I can't make anyone respect me. I can only put it out there that this is what I desire. Now, however you choose to receive that is on yeah. you and now, we'll go forward. From now I like what mind provoking put. She said boundaries equate to an ADT alarm system. I protect my home and no one else has the password. Or could cross. Right. C- control equates to a remote by force. A person controls the channel, volume, and the mute buttons. Right. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just playing. Aunt Liza says you have to have a certain level of self-awareness and have standards to be able to set boundaries. Oh, I missed her thing. I believe that. You have to have a level of self-awareness and... You have to have standards because I, Aunt Liza, I believe that because if you don't have standards, then you will fall for anything. Anything goes. And so therefore there's not a boundary line. Darren put in, he said, people who are passive by nature really need to learn to set boundaries and really enforce them and enforce them. That's the hardest part though. Enforcing the boundaries that you set. Because you, that, if you set a boundary, do you have to enforce them, or or just or because they? I mean, it, it's it's not even about it because enforcing sounds like police, like oh, you are gonna get in trouble if you do that. It, and it's well, not, maybe that's the way. That's maybe the way enforced is received in your in your mental. No, I'm just asking. It's just for conversation pieces, right? Because look, if you have a um, military, for instance, and there is a boundary line, you can't go past that boundary line. It needs to be enforced. You don't think so? I think if you, because here's the thing. It's like if you put this X here and uh-huh. you cross that line, either two things can happen. I could either force it or I could just either walk away. So you. I could walk away. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to enforce it. Like, I don't have to. Okay. Okay. I could just yeah. walk away. I, I, got I could just walk saying. away. Maybe not enforce. But definitely bring awareness to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can bring that awareness. This is that you don't you. I don't want you to cross this line because this line right here, I can't go. I'm not gonna go any further than that. that but I keep going back to, like I said, I keep going back to this thing because I truly believe that. Um, and 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 like I said, I understand why boundaries are needed because this is like mind provoker said, it's like an alarm system in your house. Only you have the code to it, mm-hmm. but. In the same token, it's like, would you give the code to somebody who really don't even know how to read numbers yet? But see, you may not know that until you're in a relationship. But you with would them. know that because would you? I, th- because this is self awareness. 
Because like I said, some people don't know that their level, the way they respect is different from the way I respect. I may be raised that respect is this, 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 and this. They may be raised that it's this, 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 and this. So they think they being respectful in the relationship or whatever the situation is at work or whatever. Mm -hmm. But to you, you're being disrespected. So your boundary, if you set boundaries for yourself, your boundary is, okay, now I'm going to have to have a conversation with this person about how they, I feel like they, I feel as though they disrespect so 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 would do you believe that you would need to set somebody a boundary for somebody and it's a question that i want y'all to answer mm -hmm. do you believe that you would have to set a boundary for somebody who's really not emotionally developed because if because there's certain things that you would know whether or not you could even intertwine or interact with this person there especially through conversation you'll know so do you think that there's a that you need to set boundaries for that person or just not be bothered? Because a relationship is how you relate to people. Everybody have issues. Everybody got scars and wounds. So therefore, I could be the type of person where I'm, if I'm in a relationship with you, you may not have known that this is the way you can handle situations. You may have not even known that that was in you mm -hmm. to be that way, to be your best self or your better self. And then being around me, it's like, wow, you know, I didn't realize that this was a way that you could communicate and you start doing better in your communication. So I feel like, yeah, you have set the boundaries mm -hmm. and that person who's in the relationship with you will understand, wow, okay, this is the way this person desires to be treated. If they care for you, then they won't keep pushing it. Remember how when you, as, as little kids, they always say little boys always try to push, push and push and see how far they can push you. Mm hmm you got to set a boundary and, and because as, as a parent, you got to know uh, at some point you can't push past this line. Cause if you go too far, then there will be consequences for your ass. So, okay. So let me read this. And I would just want to address what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And my, she said, everyone is not equipped with the same tool. Uh, agree. If they are not emotionally developed, they are not equally yoked. My boundary due to my standards and capacity level. Yes. So, so here's a, so here's what I'm, what I want to say. So, Somebody who I believe is not emotionally developed or not emotionally mature, you know, I guess a better better word, a lack of, for lack of a better word, if they're not emotionally mature, that those are people who catch attitudes a lot. Mm. Those are people who who get angry and run off or get upset and shut down. That that's a level of emotional maturity. They're not developed. Their emotions and that's why you are have not developed. To so fail. do you need to set boundaries for someone who 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 get runs off and and gets an attitude all the time whatever whatever triggers them we was watching a show the other the other day i forgot the name of the show and the girl the dude popped off he just was fussing and he fussed because i guess he felt like the girl was giving attention to another to oh, a friend yeah to a friend to which was a guy and he, she, she didn't give she consoled him. somebody yeah. else, and, and she she didn't. she didn't give it to him, and he got an attitude about it and stormed off. Right, but, but see, so at that point, at that point, what's the boundary that you set as opposed to just saying that's a it, that's an emotion that I just don't want to deal with. That's a boundary. Is that a, that's considered that's a, boundary a boundary or a you're cut not off? Setting it for him. What you're doing is you're setting it for yourself. I understand. Because if you set it for him, now you're trying to tell him, you need to act like this and this and this and this if you're going to be with me. But that's but that's that's control. Now you're telling me how I need to be. But if I say, these are the type of people I want in my life. So if you can't respect that, then... I can't have you in my life. Now I'm not controlling you. I'm allowing you to make a decision whether you're going to change your behavior to be in my life or you're going to keep it moving because you don't want to be in mm -hmm. my life. That's what I feel like a boundary is. Let me read some comments. Teacher says some people are scared to enforce the boundaries. They may feel like they like it if they do enforce. They may feel like if they do enforce it, they won't be liked or accepted anymore. The, that's good, Tisha, because of, that's what boundaries are for. If that person does not like you because you have boundaries for yourself, you're not saying something wrong with you. You're saying 
I feel like this is what I need for me. And if you care about that person, you will want to respect their boundaries. If they don't like you because you have a standard and a boundary for yourself, then and that person is going to cause trouble and hardship and pain in somebody, your life anyway. Yeah, that's definitely somebody you don't want to be around. Darren says um, boundaries must be respected on both sides that of that invisible, invisible line. line. Hmm, that's true. They, but but the thing is, I can't make that person on the other side of that line respect me. Yeah, I you can only, only have, control have respect of yourself. for myself enough to know what I will and will not accept in my life. That's true. That's Mom true. Mom provoking said everyone is not equipped with the same. Okay, yeah, I read that already. You read that. So 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 let's go back to the kid here. Okay. So do you think? Okay. So now that's a that's a boundary in a relationship. Now go back to. The kid here, mm -hmm. the, the kid who's disrespectful to the teachers. Because okay. like I said, I see that a lot. I see it on social media. I see it. I've, I've, I got coaches who are clients of mine, and I have uh, principals who are clients of mine mm -hmm. who say it is hard to deal with the kids because of the parents. A lot of that is Because of today, the parents. Yes. So it's hard to deal with the kids. So the kids are very disrespectful. They're cussing the teachers out. They're fighting the teachers. They're so... Why, why, how, how do we push that boundary at the home and, and, and have so much, so many moral values when it comes to our relationships, but we don't have it when it comes to our kids. Mm -hmm. Like that, that, that line is definitely, there is no line when it comes Actually, to our kids. There is a line if we choose to look at the line. Because to be honest, if I create something and I give you a manual that tells you this is the best way to, to use this product to get the best use out of it, and you throw the thing away and say, I'm going to do it the way I want to, and it break on you down the line because you didn't use it correctly, I can't say that whoever created it was wrong. I can only blame myself for not reading the manual. So that's what's happening in our generations. Our generations are breaking down because we have moved the boundary marker. The Bible is specific. God created such an intricate being as a human. Such an intricate being. It is no other, I don't care what AI, there is no other being that is more intricate and put together and fashioned like what God did when he created human beings. Then he gave us a Bible, which is the manual to tell us how to do everything. They give us instructions for parents in there they say train up a child in the way they should go and if they do not um if when they get older they won't depart it says spare the rod spoil the child it says if you put a rod on their back they will not die it says if you discipline the child they will not be spoiled and they will thank you later and i'm paraphrase that one and listen this is what it says um in the bible proverbs 22 verse 28 Remove not the ancient landmark with the which the fathers set. And there are, you know, the, there are different interpretations people give. But as I was reading it, this this one kind of stuck out to me. That is a warning not to disregard boundaries set by previous generations. It says each generation questions the morals and or social restrictions of their ancestors. While not all uh, restrictions are good, it is not good to throw them away there are ancient boundaries set by our ancestors but because we say well you we can't do it like that no more that's old people come no not all of the restrictions are good we have to find the balance but the balance is in the word of god we can't look at oh well they did it like this and this and this well they could have got it wrong they could they they could have just did things that they felt as parents growing up with these kids. But the word of God shows us it's the manual. It tells us how to raise our kids. And if we do that the way it says it, and I know it sound, I'm making it sound like it's easy. Baby, let me tell you something. If I did not do that with my child, because I didn't know what I was doing. I was a 17-year-old parent. I had no clue how to raise a child. But I thank God that he turned out the way he turned out. And I attribute most of that to the fact that when I didn't know what to do, my daddy instructed me to go to the word of God and find out what God said about what you should do with that young man. I'm a single mother raising a son, and I think he turned out pretty well, if I mm. do say so myself. It's in the manual. But we can't throw the 
the boundaries that set for our parents and kids in the manual. We can't throw that out the window because the government is telling us we should do it this way. Scientologists are telling us we could do it this way. Um, Dr. Roof, I don't even think she had no kids telling us to do it this way. We have certain people that do it certain ways that worked for us, and we threw it out the window, and now look at our and, kids. And it's so crazy because now those, those same kids that don't have boundaries set, we're taking them to counselors and we're taking them to, to, to doctors, and they're putting them on medicine because of the boundaries that we don't set as parents. We didn't set them. We didn't set boundaries at all. And these kids are running rampant and they're running around taking calm down medicines and thinking that they need outlets or they uh, have ADHD and stuff like that. Some of them may, but some, a lot yeah. of them just need to go outside and play after school, yeah. after they do their homework yeah. to dinner time. Uh -huh. See, the thing is we, I'm sorry, babe, I'm on my soapbox no, because people, if, if you know me, children, youth development is my thing. And the thing that really gets me is we are taking, these are generations, these are our future. And how in the world are we as human beings who was created by God know more than God about how to handle his children? We don't. I don't care how doctor you are here. God says, I use the foolish things to confound the wise so that even the wisest person, I confuse them by certain things I do. Then they be like, Phew. Come on. Had man. no clue. No clue. But then we we practice on our kids and we throw out the boundaries that were set for up us being parents. And we giving it to people to, that now we can't tell our kids nothing. If we do, we going to jail. If if I say I don't want my child having transitional surgery, I have I'm at risk of going to jail. If I tell my kids certain rights and wrongs and have morals in my home. And let's say there comes a time when not abuse, but I, my child deserves to get his little legs with a switch. I'm going to jail. The government has got us to the point where we can't even be obedient to the word of God without at risk. But hey, baby, you better take up your cross and follow me, says the Lord, <laughs> because <laughs> he will cross. protect us. If, if I had a child right now today, my son, he did get whoopings that time. Go outside on that tree and get me that switch. And if you don't get a good one, I'm going to go out if and pick whip, my own. If they whipped him all night long, why we can't even do it? And I didn't abuse my son <laughs> at all. Ask him. I did not abuse him. But right now today, he thanks me for the discipline mm -hmm. that he did receive. I didn't whoop him while I was mad. I was, I did my thing, though. So sometimes he, he got, like they say, a talking to. Sometimes he got his little... A little swift talking oh, to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he did not die. And he not spoil you. Anything spoiled is bad. Spoiled meat, stink. Spoiled milk, clots. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. The, so why are you on your soapbox? I'm the, sorry, one more, One more question. No, I'm not. One more, one more question. I'm, gonna, I'm just talking. We're just talking today, y'all, which is cool. So with that being said, because this relationship, I want to ask, do we set boundaries? In the church. It should be, definitely. What does that look like? Setting boundaries in the church? That's yes. a good question. Do we set boundaries in the church, y'all? That's a really good question. Darren said, take up that cross and that switch. That's a right. A switch ain't never killed nobody. It ain't never hurt nobody. Ain't going to hurt We're nobody. We're not talking about abuse. I mean, I grew We're up with that, man. Shoot, that. Listen, it ain't abuse, but it's... it's, it's We're talking about spirit it's of that discipline. Spoil your and child. And it's sad because the, we, we allow the policemen and, 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 and people of authority to discipline... They're going to do it. Because they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Yeah. And it's okay for them to do it, but it ain't okay... For the parents who live with these kids and who have not set boundaries to not do it, that, that's not cool. I remember I saw the transition happening. I've been working in youth development for over 27 years. I remember when the parents hey, Mia. had the teachers back. And they yeah. trusted that the teachers was doing right by their kids. Now, I know some bad apples spoiled the bunch. But now we have teachers 
getting abused and principals getting abused by the parents and the kids see it. But what they don't realize is the word of God is going to be true to what it says. And you teaching your child how to not respect authority. So as that child grows up, you are also an authority figure in their life. And if you teach them not to respect authority, what makes you think you're not going to be next? And on top of that, the Bible says that um, you should honor your mother and your father. If they don't respect you as authority, they will not honor you and their days will not be long. And it will be because you chose to, sh- I- I'm finna go up there and I'm finna yes. show them. Gotcha. Show them. Cool. Teach we got to, what's up, Larry, my guy. Love you, bro. Love you, man. So happy hey, for you. Mia, Pastor Mia, she said, not anymore. I'm not sure what you're talking what you about. What you talking about? That. Elaborate, Mia. So, Mind Provoker said, no boundaries at church. Unfortunately, yes. I agree. Yes, there needs to be boundaries in church because today they're doing any and everything in the church. Exactly. True. Exactly. So, True. what the, what does setting a boundary look like in the church? What, and, and for me, it's like when you know that the word of God is not being preached, and you know that they're manipulating the word to build a level of finances. Okay. A level of business. Did you hear about that lawsuit? People suing the church to get their tithe money to back? To get their tithe money back. Listen, let me, let me, okay, I'm going to say what this. Does, what does the boundary in the church look like? I feel like that the boundary in the church should be unity. There should be a level of unity in the church. There should be a level of Okay, so a lot of times it comes from the head, right? Mm-hmm. The order of the church should come from God, the man of God, the people of God in the church. If Jesus went into the temple and started flipping over tables because they had turned his father's house into something other than the house gotcha. of prayer, we have to be careful who we follow. If you following a man of God who's living the lifestyle outside of the church house and not just coming up in there preaching and doing wrong, we have to have discernment to know who we following. If we're following a man of God, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to be able to be in line with that man of God and there will be order and you will be able to follow the boundaries. But if you know that this person is not preaching, he hit and miss. He might get three Sundays out the month, but one Sunday is like, "Ah," you know, no, God's word is going to be a a relevant word. If every time, if we know that the head is not right and we still go, is that the pastor's fault? Or is it our fault? Yes. And that's okay, how come yeah. boundaries are getting misconstrued because everybody going to do their own thing because yes. everybody got their own opinion. Mia, Mia said, and we got to go, y'all. Mia said that there were, it was a response to the question about the boundaries in the church. Mm-hmm. And Alcizer said, if there is no anointing or move of the real spirit. this Listen, y'all, there has to be, especially when it comes, and this is just things that we just got to really be, just be keen of and be prayerful of because Apparently, boundaries need to be set in our our life, period. Period. Sp- spiritually, emotionally, um, physically. These boundaries need to be set for our well-being. But but I'm just I'm just a stickler on making sure that our influence is God. Because if He is protecting us, if He is providing for us, I think our boundaries need to line up with God, there it is. Our, our boundaries need to line up with the one who should be our influence. There it is. And this is, and when that's not the case with everything else in our life, then we, then the boundaries that we set, I believe, are only set emotionally, and they're not set lining up with the very thing that should keep us healthy. Goes back to what on. I was saying. Now I'm going back full circle. What I was saying in the beginning, yeah. the most healthiest level of development is it's our spiritual. spirit. So if we can truly line up that boundary with God and have him set the boundaries for us, because again, there should be a level of concern for our soul and not for what we give, right? Not for what we give. There should be a concern for what it profit a man to gain the whole world and to do, do what lose, lose his, his soul. soul. That's so happening. that's what's happening. Yeah. So if anything is anything around you is not causing you to, to grow spiritually, Cause that's what it's about. That's how about. you find out how what what you will and will not accept. Be not conformed to this world order. There's this world system, not people. Yes. The world system, but be ye conformed. 
I mean, be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to start thinking different. Stop looking yes. at what's going on around us in this world system and start thinking different. How do we think different? We got to go back to the manual. Live your best life according to the manual. Absolutely. If you break, if you in breakdown mode, go back to the manual. That's wow. the word of God. That's the Bible. Eliza, there's a difference between motivation and salvation. Exactly. Darren, when the congregation doesn't check the pastor, don't get mad at him. <laughs> exactly. What fruits are you bearing? Cannot get an orange from a lemon tree. Wait, he says when the congregation doesn't check the pastor. Don't get mad at him. What does that mean, check the pastor? That means, well, I mean, the thing is, I don't think you got to check the pastor. Just check the word. Go back and check the scripture. Yeah, check the scripture. Check the scripture and read it for yourself. if it's a false prophet, then get out. Run. Run. (laughs) Yeah, don't you don't gotta check him. Just check, check it in the word. Check the word. And, and if, if it, it don't, don't line, line up with yeah. the word, then you're in the you're not in a house of God. Because there are false prophets, and the word of God says in these end times, there will be false prophets just because they have a steeple on the they don't even have steeples on buildings no more, do they? Yeah. Just because they say it's a church, you better check the word. Don't yeah. check the man. And people running around here talking about calling themselves apostles and stuff. Hey, what? We want to stay where well, well, I've been in this church for 20 years. These title, he, these title but driven you, but churches. But you got to check him. Check the word. If the word ain't lining up, then you yes. might want to take your next 20 years and, yes. and go somewhere where the word is lining up so that your spiritual life. We are in perilous times. It ain't time Absolutely. to play. All right, All listen, right, y'all. I'm Our done. time is up, man. Listen, we love you guys. Don't forget, Darren, on Liza, we got an event coming up June, January 26th. We're going to get y'all the information. Shift Real Talk. Red carpet event. It's gonna be off the chain. I promise you. So we're gonna we're gonna get y'all. It's a ticketed affair, but it's, we got so many things that that's gonna be happening. So if you y'all in the Houston area, man, we're gonna we're gonna start advertising it next week because uh, it's gonna be awesome. You gotta that's dress right. up, come to this thing. We're gonna film All right. it. All right, we gotta go, y'all. Check but listen, the word. Check the word. Don't check the man. Don't check the man. Amen. Amen. Set them boundaries. Set them boundaries. Don't we love you guys, man. This is Don't our time. Push this, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shift Real Talk. I'm your boy, Pastor Jay. And I'm your girl, Lady Free. And this is Shift Real Talk. We signing out, y'all. Signing out. Peace. Till next week. Till next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>